Day. What's up, Emilio? What's up, man? What? What? Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Cutting the leg off, make the adapter fit so the starter has somewhere to sleep. You're what? You're gotta, cutting up my engine? Gotta cut that leg off to make a place for the starter to sit when it goes in the bully. A motor on the side, a saws on his hand. A, a hammer? A hammer. Oh. What's this guy doing? I, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to watch what you're doing. I know, I was sticking a sticker on my toolbox and I actually know he's out here cutting up my engine. What's in the way of this? The starter goes here. Oh. So I gotta get rid of these ribs. And how do you know this? Because I got one in the rear wheel drive Civic. Gunmetal. On gunmetal? Oh, yeah. I'll have to check it out. Well, I guess that's the start to getting it mounted. We're going to get this thing in the car today. Oh, we'll see. We'll Man, see. I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> yeah, Josh is on it. He's on it. <laughs> now, what's this Subaru doing here? What are you, this is good stuff, dude. Yeah. Check this out. Good. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ooh, woo! Okay. Is that the, uh, what does he got? He's got the goods, man. Yeah. Just the STI motor? Yeah, going on Hall Tech. Oh, nice. How are we going to dyno it? I could probably run over 50 50. Oh, okay. That looks good. Those yeah. Are bling bling. Yeah, and it's sexy. Yeah. The matte green just like makes it pop. Wood grain steering wheel. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, no LS in this one. Or K hey. series yet, but. Tell him I got a full STI interior if he needs it. Oh, he'd be all about it. Kyle's got some cool stuff in store for you, but. Did they see this already? No. Woo, look at that. Oh, look, already. V Tech burgers. burgers. <laughs> yeah. This thing is sick. Fong busted this out for those. So it's Honda hood hinges. Of course, kind it has of to dark. be Honda parts that he puts on. Of course. And then um, he cut the inside of the head out, and there's steel underneath and steel sides. So we're not actually into the aluminum. And then in the valve cover, that's also a piece of steel. So we just got to put the header on it. You made a little stand for it. We're going to put a little header for the smoke, and then it'll be complete. So and then Sean shows up. What's up, dude? Showing up, you want to see what's up or what? <laughs> yeah, Jake brought us the taillights on Sunday. There's dirt inside them, so we may have to pop the seal yeah. and clean them out and put them back together. But it yeah, yep. Yeah. But they were in the back of a Civic. Should probably just black them out a little bit too. Yeah. Showing up. He Jake has um. The beat on 13. Yeah, and he's got the meme where he's like, should I run? Oh, he's the, yeah, the fat cop. Yeah. <laughs> the fat cop meme with the, the kid that looks back like, should I run? <laughs> should I run? With a big old grin. Yeah, he's cool. So we've had the hitcher adapter uh, for a while now. And Josh is trying to set it up here. I got to massage what I've cut out here a little more. This is going to come up, so I'm going to take a little more of this lip off here to clear the half of our starter because he splits the starter in half. So you got the motor that goes on this side, and this is the gear on the other side. And then the drive gear on that side. So there so, must be a little gear section in there too or something? Yeah, there's a, a three-piece gear. This is the, the pin for the counter gear. And this is the Bill Hitcher kit you find on Facebook, right? Yep. Bill Hitcher's the man. And he's uh, you got adapters for J's, K's, uh, 4G63s. So pretty much whatever you want. He does manual transmission adapters. He does automatic transmission adapters. Uh, crazy stuff. So, all that good stuff. So, and it looks like a really nice piece. It's all like cast almost, yeah, he you know? casts it and machines it. It's pretty rad. Yeah. Well, I'll let you continue to work away here. I'm here show him this piece. It's kind of so cool to see. Oh, whoa. That's the crank hub adapter. It's That's two got piece. two piece, so one half bolts to the crankshaft and the other half 
bolts to that and then that'll have the this uh, is a gm pattern gm here. pattern for the flex plate and it's all hub centric so you don't have to worry about balance very cool well like i said i'll let you keep working right on brother <laughs> i'll check on you in a minute <laughs> One of the things we have to do to make this starter fit here is remove that oil pan bolt because when you get the adapter lined up here, you can see how the end of the starter box hits on that bolt. So unfortunately we have to lose that one. I have not had any leaking issues on gunmetal with it, so it's not really that big a deal. But that's that's seating flush, it's not rotated all the way up yet, but you can see how it's a problem. So I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna continue to massage that area in there and make everything fit up like it needs to. Well, Josh, you look like you're getting close, bro. Yeah, but we what still need some massage. And I just showed you guys that I needed to pull that bolt out. I did it. I'm still, as you can see, I got a gap here. I'm still not oh, yeah. kicking it back far enough. So I'm gonna have to shave that seat down where the bolt hits okay i got grinders inside too yep we'll get it her. looks like you're getting close though step at a time <sighs> blink gonna know what to do with her new heart huh <laughs> she gonna go it goes or blows either way whatever it's all good yeah. we'll find another one put another one in <laughs> right all right just got done massaging this a bit i took and took the angle grinder and cut that down a little bit and put the bolt back through since I could have it come sticking out there in the webbing. So I made some clearance there so we're able to keep that bolt back here. And that bolt was also hitting the housing of the starter. So I took the starter off the adapter and I ground it down a little bit to clear that. So now we have all the oil pan bolts, which on my setup in the rear wheel drive Civic I was not able to do. So now bully will be set. All right guys, so I came out here from getting some food and Josh is already got this thing on a hoist. What? So, someone's determined to get this done today. Yeah, I want it in there so we can start fabricating the turbo system and get this thing closer to running. Yeah, right on man. You're crushing it. I'm over here wiring up this Dodge, which everyone's asked, well, it's getting a Holly engine management. Oh, this is sick. Well, let's get it done. I'll watch you do it. Give you a hand, honestly. Not just watch. So that bar in the middle looks like it's gonna have to be changed some for when the starter comes on. Cause I got a feeling it would hit right here. But, minor stuff, you know? And like you said, the front bar. Some changes from what it had, but not a welder can't fix. Nope. That's a problem. What's the problem? We're on the fuel cell. We're not going to forward. And we're out of adjustment up here. What do you want? Oh, the fuel cell. Oh, we'll get a jack and jack it up. It still jacks like a normal car. <laughs> so those tabs on the side are made for the jack stands. If it'll fit there, will it fit? Will yours fit, or do we need to move them for the? Because we can put it towards the back as well. We're gonna be close. I'm gonna do with it. This side's a little wonkety. Do you want to put them on the cross bar that goes back? Yeah. I come up higher. Problem is I got the jack. Come back to about here. Alright. Alright. Oh, 
All right, so you can watch it just break a little bit. See how it fits, see what needs changed, see what's gonna work. It's never had a V6 in it before, so it's getting an engine swap. Yeah, that bar's gonna be a problem. We're getting close though. Well, yeah, the, there's, we need to put a jack under the tranny because the tranny's dipped. Is you know it? what I mean? Okay. It's leaning, the tranny's leaning like this because it doesn't have the engine holding it up. Okay. So, so, we take the jack and put it under the side here. Toss that under the pan. Hey, see what that does for us. That lifts some things. That yeah, looks like you still need to go up from according to my dowel pin on my side. So we're trying to get in the, we're about a half an inch. See that dowel pin right there, it just needs to go in the hole. Oh, that's probably good on my end, a little high. I could probably, yep, see? Tugged it right in there. Couple of bolts and. You wanna hold it on my lower a little bit? Probably need that big blue jack stand to throw under the J. Pretty interesting, huh? We're getting it. It's all you guys that, that started this little conversation. So I don't know if I should thank you or hate you. <laughs> nah, it's all good. It's fun to pick on everybody. Oh, I see you got a little twist going on here, huh? Yeah. That's what you're fighting. Because my dowel's in and yours isn't. All right, we got it situated. We got that gap closed up. And Josh found a couple bolts. If you want to grab a 916 real quick. Alright, it's getting the bolts in there. Sean showed up and helped Josh out. Because this is kind of Sean's idea as well. Just throwing it out there. Yeah, I, He's, said, I said that about a year and a half ago to put a J on here. He has a 94 Prelude, rear wheel drive. Two Prelude, first BB1. Rear wheel drive with a J series in it. Yeah. And I told him he can use my other glide to just throw it together. I want a Turbo 400, I want that mechanical advantage. I want more gears. <laughs> I don't have a big block with 2,000 foot pounds of torque. You don't need that. And I think we're actually gonna need to come off of this engine stand because that's sitting a little high and we yeah. also have to kick the nose down. Yep. Should be clear to pull it out. All right. You feel a grab? Yep. All right. Run that wrench in. You were totally right about it being shorter. There's definitely more room than the four cylinder by a lot. Hey, look at all that room to hang two turbos and I can move the gas tank. Hang two turbos? In. We need them Leroy style. <laughs> <laughs> I like getting the weight down low. I down do too. Low, down I low. do too, but just something about scaring old ladies and stuff. It's good. <laughs> If they're complaining, you're doing it right. <laughs> Dang. It does kind of look like a beast, doesn't it? Yeah. Josh just trying to find a good spot to kind of see what height it's going to be at. So we can get like just a, a view of the level it'll ride. Shoot, it didn't move much when you kicked. Took... What do you think of that, James? 
That's how it should be. Okay, we're all in agreement. It's starting to look right. See, Jay Jamie's all Leroy'd out already. Yeah. He's, he's measuring for turbos. Yes. Yeah. Think of roof level. Through roof level. Plugs. Plugs. <laughs> 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 Love you, Gordo. So yeah, we're gonna have to yep notch this bar down here for the starter. See a good angle there, and then we'll do something for the filter or find a stubby, a stubby, stubby filter, man. An NSX one. That's real short. And we need to fabricate either some dog legs for a front mount or a plate. All we had before on the front was, was the one just one right off there. there. And that's all I have. Something I have one on this side on this gun metal. So. Yeah. Well, and there's still no mount in the middle. Yeah. So everything right now is on the diff plate. <clears throat> yep. And probably sitting on that cross member. Watch that one. Yeah, Sean's got it. Hey, that's looking sharp. And it'll sit higher than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna get picked up. Yeah, it's like the cross member and the diff mount. But it's the start. Nice work, dudes. <laughs> We're all staring and dreaming. I hope you guys all at home are all staring and dreaming too. Knew the adapter would come in handy eventually. <laughs> We've only talked about it for years. Yeah. We got it for this car originally. Yep. And then we just talked about it. But it never became anything. Well, appreciate you guys hanging with us while we threw the engine in the car. Uh, keep dreaming and throw some stuff in the comments of what you like to see, and we'll just keep uh, we'll keep plugging away at it. All right, take care.